My first Red Rocks experience would have been with the Allman Brothers. You know, I started in 1989, and we would play pretty much every year. I'm a Ram. Get close to you. I've played here, I don't know how many times since, but I know one year I played here eight times. A venue that you look forward to playing every time. I don't remember ever having a bad show here, and I don't, I don't think you can. I'm not sure which view is better, the view from the stage looking at the crowd, because the sun and the moon have a tendency to come up through the rocks, or the view from the crowd looking at us. I've known Warren since back in the Decky Betts Band days, which was, I was in that band from 84 to 88. Warren came in that band somewhere in the middle of that, and that's how long we've known each other. I was working on a record with a friend, Jeff Young, and as it happened, he was a good friend of Warren's, and he recommended me. I remember being here with the Allman Brothers when it was so cold that we built a hut around Greg Allman. We called it the Pope Mobile. If your friends are around, you invite them on stage. So I would say a pretty high percentage of our shows, there's somebody sitting in doing something. We used to bring the PA up the mountain on a flatbed truck because the semis can't go all the way up to the top, to the stage. And one year with the Allman Brothers, the, the flatbed truck stalled. About half of the PA tumbled off the back and down into the valley below. If we didn't have the great audience that we have, that not only understands and appreciates what we do, but takes the journey with us, encourages us to go wherever it is that we want to go musically. If we didn't have that, there would be no reason for us to still be here 25 years later. Well, we started as a side project to the Allen Brothers, and we never intended to make a second record or do a second year. Bring on the music. Here we are 25 years later, it all just happened organically. We're gonna keep going as long as it feels good.